chosen ones, lit ones. Do not let these current mainstream artists fool you. Well, Sean Campbell say, don't let them fool you. Don't let them fool you. Do not let these current mainstream famous artists fool you. See, a lot of them are part of a hazing, abusive, destructive fraternal order. These frats and the women in these sororities and stuff like that, such as Masons and all this stuff like that, they are an organized fraternal order that participates in hazing, abusing, humiliation in order for you to get fame. Fame is not based off of talent no more. You probably wondering why. Damn, I, I know I'm talented. People say I'm gifted. They say I can sing. They say I can dance. They say I can rap. They say I'm good at this and that. But most times, if you're not involved with that fraternal order, if you're not involved in a frat and stuff like that, you're not going to make it. And that's why I promote working. Keeping your day job. Going through the thick and thin of working and hustling and bustling. Keeping a side hustle. Because in reality, if you don't work, you don't eat. And if you think they're going to let you become famous real fast by just your talents, man, you got another thing coming. I used to think the same way. I was so naive to what was going on. Dude, I even had people approach me and say, you can do this, you can do this, and you can do that, and you can get away with this, trying to lure me into some type of fraternal order to do something that they're able to hold over my head. No. I'm not going to engage myself in criminal activity. I'm not going to just um, do something stupid just to say that I'm down and stuff like that. See, doing see where I'm going with this conversation is don't let them hold in these watts, these artists holding these watts of money, their fancy cars and clothes. Don't let that fool you into thinking that that's the life and your life ain't nothing. Your life ain't shit. That's the life. No. Look at NBA Youngboy. He got an interview out there where he's uh, basically regretting all of the toxic negative music that he put out misleading kids and leading them to the hellfire he's regretting that they gave him so much money at such a young age that he didn't even know what to do with it he didn't even know what to do with himself now he got pictures surfacing online of him laying down with pill bottles and stuff like that see when you give somebody so much money at such a young age it becomes destructive if i give my 14 year old son millions of dollars you know granted if i had it if i give if my 14 year old son was to come upon millions of dollars and have control over it, he would be self-destructive. By the time he's 20, 22, maybe even younger, he would be suicidal and stuff like that. And same with you guys. That's why it is important to understand that working, grinding, building is the way to go. And the later you get your blessing, the better. Because you've learned those lessons and learned what to do with a little bit of money versus you just being flooded with a lot of money and just getting this excitement, this ADHD happy excitement because 
yes, you are rich, but you are rich without knowledge. I would rather be rich and wealthy without. I would rather be rich and wealthy with knowledge. And so would you. And so would you want that for your sons and your daughters. NBA young boy is damaged because of everything that he was given at such a young age. And these people that given these things, they know that. They know that it will cause damage, destruction, um, separation when they give you millions and millions of dollars at such a young age because they know you don't know what to do with it. They know you're a fool. You're not old enough. You're not wise enough. You're not mature enough. You don't have the experience to know what to do with that type of money. They know you're a fool and they know you're going to lose it. Now look at NBA young boy facing fair time. Y'all look up to all these artists and stuff, and y'all think that us speaking against this is actually hating? No, it's us giving you understanding that it's better to have it later. It's greater to have it later after you've worked, after you've been through things, after you've lost things, after you went through possibly losing jobs, getting fired, getting back up on your feet, learning that, hey, um, learning the value of money. Because it takes years for you to truly learn the value of money after you first start getting money. When you first start getting money, whether you 15, 16, 17, and stuff like that, some of you, you know what I'm saying, been getting money since you were little. But just say you first start getting money at 15, you get blessed with a $100,000 check that you're responsible for. You don't have the knowledge and wisdom to grow, to help that money help you grow and build that into millions of dollars. But when you're, say, 25, 26, 27, and you get $100,000 and you've been, took some L's and stuff like that, you know how to multiply that money and stuff like that. And like I say, watch out for these phishing scams as well. I had so-called labels reach out to me like a fake uh, universal music group reach out to me saying, oh, you pay this money and uh, we'll go start with your signing. We'll pay you uh, $30,000 a week, but you got to pay us two hundred dollars for me. Please put in the comments below and let me know. Do labels reach out to you that want to sign you and ask you for any type of money, whether it's $100, $200, or $300? Because I'm not sure. I don't believe that's true. I believe that's a fishing scam to get money out of many people's pockets. Yes, it, it, it's biteable. Debate is biteable because when you know your worth, such as me, such as you, when you know your value, when you know you're talented, you're gifted, you're like, oh, man, like, dude, they want to sign me. But why would a label reach out to somebody they want to sign asking them for money when the label is supposed to provide the money for distribution and promotion and ads and stuff like that and videos and, and, and studio time and travel expenses the label is supposed to provide all of that correct and that goes back to my saying nothing is going to come easy do not let them fool you and trick you out your ass or trick you out your cash that you've worked day and night, tooth and nail, feet and hands for. I've been making music since I was about, let, let's be realistic, okay? I've had a passion for music and started putting a pen to the pad since I was eight, but I've been really making music, putting music on wax since I was about 13 or 14 years old. I'm well beyond a decade of that age. Almost well beyond two decades of that age when I first started. If they haven't signed me yet, and you see how talented and gifted I am. And this is not bigging myself up. But what makes you think they're going to assign you just based off your talent? 
this industry is very wicked and it needs change. And I say the current industry. I'm not saying that it's not possible for it to get greater later because I feel like it will get greater later. The dirties will be cleaned up out of there and people will become successful in the music business based off their talents. But it takes time, perseverance, fighting, and speaking for it. And actually taking action for it. And sometimes that's not even your calling. Sometimes that's not even your calling. You may be real good at something. And you think this is what you're supposed to be, this big famous artist. But you might supposed to be something else. You might supposed to be um, a great speaker. You might supposed to be a great preacher. You might supposed to be a, a therapist, a teacher, a professor, a professional. So understand, do not let them trick you out of your soul is basically what I'm saying. You are phenomenal. You are greatness. You are talented. You are gifted. But use your talents and your gifts to build and not destroy. They gave, they giving these young cats all this money to use their talents to destroy themselves. Make sure that when you are given, when you accept something, make sure that you are in the right alignment with God so you know this is from God. How you know it's from God? If you're using your talents to build, heal, and employ versus kill, steal, and destroy. If you're using your talents for that and then something good happens, no matter what it is, something good is offered to you on the table, then that's how you know that it's from God. If it's good, God good the word god is in good if you're doing all types of manners of evil just more evil than good or just all evil and then you get an offer understand that that's not from god that's from the devil the word evil is in devil understand what i'm saying do not fall victim to losing your soul because once you lose your soul you can't get it back this Professor L.O. Share this video. Like this video. I love you. Even if you don't comment, if you, if you don't subscribe, it is it is what it is. Just know that I still love you. And um, we going up. Period.